It is an unlikely partnership on the streets of San Francisco, and it's no secret Uber decimated the taxi business. But starting today, it may be a taxi cab picking you up when you summer summon an Uber in the city. In fact, taxi drivers that use the Flywheel app will be able to opt in to accept Uber rides. But KPIX 5 Sean Chitness reports not all cabbies are on board. Brianna Netty is a typical Uber user in San Francisco who calls on the app about once a week. The first thought I have is price. Like, if it's the same price, I don't really care. And she doesn't feel like she's waiting too long for drivers in the city at the moment. The options are generally okay. Usually Ubers come within a couple minutes, especially in San Francisco. The new partnership between Flywheel, which already gives taxis the ability to get customers using an app, and Uber hopes to benefit both riders and drivers. Where we were basically, you know, enemies, we're now actually uh, partners in terms of servicing the public in a very similar fashion. Riders will choose the same option they always have on Uber, but they'll be notified that they're getting a taxi for this trip. The company says the price won't change because the rider is now in a cab. For some taxi drivers, it might be good, just not for me. I don't want to pick up Uber customers and have Uber take a percentage at every fare. Joseph Mullins has been a taxi driver for over a decade. He worries about how much money he would get from an Uber customer over a traditional cab ride. The company says taxi drivers potentially could make the same or less, but also possibly make more than a traditional ride. I'm going to keep on doing what I'm doing, and I'm, I'm making money out here, and I'm, I'm putting a roof over for me and my family. The San Francisco Taxi Workers Alliance also says they're concerned about Uber encroaching on their business and unsure if they can meet the demand of new riders added from Uber. I mean, if you look at the past history, you know, uh, the ride shares were very devastating to the taxi business over the years. And I think that uh, drivers uh, are understandably suspicious. Taxi drivers will have the option to decline an Uber customer, but Flywheel believes this model, starting in San Francisco, will likely spread across the country. And Uber has its goal to get all taxis available on its app by 2025. I don't think I have ever called a cab um, using phone numbers, so um, I'm fine with that direction. Before then, riders like Brianna say they're much more likely to use a taxi on an app than they ever will by calling one. Reporting in San Francisco, Sean Chitness, KPIX 5. And since 2010, taxi drivers in the city have needed to purchase a taxi medallion for $250,000 a piece, basically a license to drive a cab. So when Uber and Lyft came on the road, the value of a medallion plummeted and many drivers were left heavily in debt. The Chronicle reports the city once had more than 1,800 taxi medallions. It now has just over 1,000.